Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Chili. This is the solution to the tutorial 12 homework. Let's take a look. Uh, so, first task was, you know, we gotta encapsulate the dude. So, let's uh, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, because we're raping everyone down here. Okay, private. So, we'll set these guys to private. And then we're gonna see what repercussions this has. So go to game.cpp, we'll expect to see some red bullshit, and indeed, we see the red bullshit happening. Uh, well actually, first of all, let's go to dude, because we're going to see red bullshit in dude as well. No, I lied. I meant poo. There we go. Alright, yeah. Because, in here, we're trying to access the, uh, the x and the y and the width and the height of the dude, but, you know, he can't do that. It's no good. It's not don't touch you. So, we're gonna go into do.h and first of all, to access the x and the y, we're gonna create some getters for that shit. So here we got some run-of-the-mill uh, getter function declarations, get x and get and get gay gay okay no never forget that. There we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, now we're gonna wanna, you know, put these guys into the CPP file, but the uh, implementation. So we're gonna create definition of get x, and I'll close that. And we're gonna create the definition for get y. And here we're just gonna return x and y. And that's it. That should have fixed part of the problem in poo.cpp. Here it is. And indeed, these guys have gone away. They have gone away. They have. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. Get X. And get Y. Now, the width and the height is actually a little bit of a different story. Nah. I mean. Oh, wait. I gotta fix this one down here as well. Pardon my French. There we go. Can't forget about these guys, can we? Alright, now with the dude width and the dude height, I mean there's two ways of looking at this. You can say, well, width and the height, they are const expression, uh, static ints. Maybe you could just make these ones public, wouldn't hurt, would it? I have made the width and the height for the whole screen public. I could make these ones public. But in the interests of having, you know, good encapsulation, we're also going to make getters and setters for these ones. Now, because the data is static, you could make a normal member function, but it's better to make a static member function, because the data isn't related to any specific instance, so we don't have to make the member function related to any specific instance. And if we make the member function static, uh, that means that we can call get width and get height even if we don't have a dude object. We can just call dude double colon get width, dude double colon get height. Uh, so, there you go. And one note is because it's a static function, it's not related to any instance, you can't make it const, right? Because const is saying, I'm not going to change. Uh, the object on which I'm called, but static is saying this shit ain't gonna be called on any specific object, so it's kinda... it's kinda dumb. So, and again we'll implement this bullshit, and that'll look something like this, and then we'll go back to the poo.cpp and we'll replace that with get width and get height. Beautiful, and that is the problem with the poo solved. Now, let's go back to game.cpp. We still got the problem here of, you know, handling the keyboard input and updating the position of the dude. So, there's there's a few ways you can handle this. You could put you could put a getter and a setter for x and y or I don't know, maybe some other dumb bullshit. Uh, but we're going to go the simple route here and we're going to create a function that takes in the keyboard as a parameter and then just reads out the information from the keyboard to update the poo. So that's going to look like, not the poo, the dude, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so we're going to go void update and we got to know about keyboards here. So we're going to go include blam and keyboard.h good now we want to take a uh, we're going to take a constant 
reference to a keyboard. It's constant because we're only going to be reading data. We aren't going to be doing any uh, changes to the keyboard object. So we'll just do that. And then give me my light bulb. Create definition. Good. Now, let's take, let's go back to game. Let's cut this bullshit out. X. And uh, we'll go back here. Paste it in here. Okay. So far, so good. Now, we don't need window.keyboard because, you know, we're just passing in keyboard, right? So there is no window. Good. And there's no dude either. Dude dot because we are the dude. This has been established in many a previous talk. And there you go. So, now this should be it. I mean, this should actually just do her. Let's make it, let's make it a little sexier here. Since we're on the, uh, this isn't part of the, the, uh, static const expr. This isn't part of the, the mission that I gave you, but eh, we'll just give the guy a speed. So we're going to, instead of hard coding the speed number into the update function, we're going to create a constant here for the speed. And we'll just replace all these guys with that. And now, if you want to change the speed of the dude, you can just change this single number here, and that'll change his speed on the screen. Just a little bit of uh, convenience there. But this should work. Let's go back to game, and let's call dude.update window.keyboard. And that should be it, if I am not mistaken, which I probably am. All right, now I'm getting an error, unresolved external symbol, uh, poo poo, which is the constructor for poo. Uh, so it's saying that poo has been referenced in game here, but it, the definition can't be found. And that's dumb because I haven't changed anything there, have I? I mean, I still got it. Yeah, it's still here. Poo, poo, there it is. Uh, why does it say inline here? Why is that a thing? And is it causing me problems? Bill. Okay, that fixed it. And I am now very weirded out. Because I don't recall. I mean, I never do like inline poo. It doesn't, it's not a thing that I do. It might have been when I uh, moved the, the definition uh, or the implementation into the CPP file automatically. It might have added that in there. But then why did it compile before and not after? I don't know. Sometimes C++ is just fucking weird. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys have noticed something that I have not. If so, leave a comment. I'm interested in knowing why this shit's weird. Let's run the program. Should work now. Alright, keep calm and eat the poo-poo. And here we are. Yeah, okay, we can eat the poo. Everything is kosher beautiful and there we go we got our dude all set up you know weirdness not uh, withstanding and one last thing i have changed my mind and i don't think i want to make these uh these functions static and the reason the reasoning behind that is we might change our mind later down the road and we might say now I want multiple dudes and I want those multiple dudes to have different dimensions different widths and heights and if we change our design like that uh, but we had the function static we might break some things that were depending on dude uh, whereas if we keep these um, as member functions, we're free to change this to non-static any time down the road. So it's better to, unless you really need to make this function static, make it a member function, and that gives you freedom to change this stuff down the road. If that didn't make any sense to you, don't worry about it. It's just some dumb bullshit I thought of. It's not a big deal. But yeah, so if we change that, we've got to make this const, and we've got to make this const. It's not a big deal. It's just something dumb I thought of. But, um... Basically, 
make a long story short, making these non-static gives us more freedom to change this without being afraid of breaking things that were depending on it being static. Anyways, f just don't worry about that shit. Don't worry about the shit. Chili's just fucking around. One quick thing I'd like to mention about this update function, the way we've done it here, is it's very clean to be able to pass in the keyboard and then to ha use the keyboard inside of the dude to update the position, but it has a drawback, and the drawback is where we are coupling now our dude to the keyboard, to a specific input method. And in general, in games, you know, you want, your, your dude might be controlled by a bunch of different things. It might be controlled by a keyboard or a mouse or a gamepad. It might be controlled by a remote player over a network or by an AI. So in a more sophisticated system, we wouldn't want to couple our dude directly to a specific input method like this. But for now, this is very clean and very nice, so we're gonna do it, it's easy. Just remember that this isn't the optimal way to handle it. And we'll look at more sophisticated methods, you know, somewhere down the line. Let's do the second task now, which was, I believe, to increase the number of poo from three to nine. So. All you gotta do for that is go to game.h and we're gonna copy and paste some poo and change the numbers like these and then we're gonna go into the cpp file and do the same here for the initializer list like these and then you want to go down here and do some more updating and some more process consumption and finally uh down here you're going to want to check to see if they're all eaten and you want to draw them if they're not yet eaten so that looks like this and like this and there you go just a bunch of copy and paste bullshit and let's see if we built that if i forgot something i don't think i have now you might note now it was a bit of a pain in the ass but it's a lot simpler than if we hadn't had all those member functions to do all we have to do in this case is just copy out a bunch of member functions and change a few values but if we had the code that we had started with it would have been a hell of a lot more of a pain in the ass let me tell you all right so and if we run it now we got lots more poo sweet and yeah that's about it so i just wanted to show you that uh, first of all it is easier now than before to add more poo but it's still kind of a pain in the ass if i asked you to add like 30 poo you'd probably get a little pissed wouldn't you uh and you might think well shit i really wish there was a way i could use a loop to just like you know update all the poo and draw you know cons do process the consumption or whatever but we can't use a loop not yet but wait until next lesson because i think you might be impressed with what i have to show you but that's it for the homework today and i will see you soon with some more c plus plus